Hi, this is uh, Sax Guy, and that's uh, Hi, I'm the guitar guy. Guitar guy. He's he's driving this one, and this is picking the trash. Um, I think we need to do that over. Oh, All right, we're going to this place in Lambertville. Lambertville. Called, called the Golden Nugget, <laughs> and this is what it looks like. There is just everything. Look at this beautiful area. Anywho, any hootie in the blowfish. Uh, what time? It's 9, 10 in the morning. This is horrible. We had to wake up. Yeah, I, had to, <laughs> I, got, I got up at 7.30. And what time did you get up? I got up at 8.15. 8.15 in the morning. We got our coffees right now. And uh, so we're jacked up on the caffeine. I got hot chocolate, so don't tell anybody. Oh. I just pretended to get coffee. Well, then now I'm just jacked up on the caffeine. Oh, so this I'm is going to be a fun one. <laughs> Look at this abandoned barn. Abandoned barn, abandoned barn. Um, yeah, so we got tips from a lot of people to come check this out. Uh, because they're not the barn. I don't check that. That's scary. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure someone died in there. A couple people. Um, we got tips to come check out uh, the Golden Nugget. Because, one, it just has a hilarious name. <laughs> and, <laughs> two, uh, a lot of people said there's tons of instruments and they always have them. And every day it's different, so... Hopefully there's not a lot of crap here, and hopefully there's some people with more than three teeth. Every episode we're going to have a segment yeah, it's like it's this. it's not just picking the trash, it's just picking my hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Picking my nose. Ew. Oh yeah, here we go. Open all year. Today, tomorrow, the next day, the day after that. Even Christmas. No, not Christmas. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Thank you. Is this also your table? Yeah. Is this a... Yeah. 400 yeah. 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 I also have a straight. Oh, you do? Yeah. That's really nice. No, you can't leave. Do you want to see it? Yes. <laughs> you are excited. You are so excited. What do we got here? Was this guy a couple of I don't know. But I'm looking at that loot over there. This is the same banjo, not loot, uh, mandolin. It's a it's a different one though. But it's nice. It's old, but it's. It's pretty cool. The one guy who was the only real music vendor there, we recognized him from Columbus in our previous video. Uh, we recognized him because he had a banjo that we saw uh, there last time. And that was pretty interesting, but it was a little beat up. But he had a really nice old mandolin. Uh, still seemed a little bit be uh, beat up, but he had some pretty nice guitars, some cool Epiphone stuff, and some pretty old jazz and archtop guitars. But nothing too incredibly special, no really cool finds. Because we're a brand new mouthpiece, this is worth 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Okay. Would you mind if I do that? Yeah, okay. I think that's all broken you now. Can make me, you know, I'll be honest with you, I paid 400 myself for one. Uh -huh. I, uh, oh no, I, take your time. I'm, I'm just so smoking up the truck. Tiny. I'm just smoking up the truck. If I have to sell them for a loss, I will. Oh yeah, the time is playing. Actually. How long have you been playing? I've been playing sax since I was 9 and I'm 23 now. So. Well, you what is that? Want it's about 80 years. What's that? You might want something better. Yeah, I was, I've never heard of the villa. Nice case. Well, yeah, I thought it was a Yamaha. I was like, oh, yeah. That same guy had uh, actually two soprano saxes, one curved, one not curved, or straight. Um, he wanted $400 for the straight one, that was the one I was looking at in the video. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll think about it. I walked away and I just googled real fast on my on my phone the brand. It was De, De Villiers, De Villiers, something like that. 
and they were kind of like, uh, all the reviews were saying, no, it's not really a good brand. So I decided to pass on it, and he say, he kept saying about a million times, oh, I want $400 for it. And then he ch changed his and then offer. He, yeah, and then he changed it, changed the story, and then it was like, I was like, eh, no. He was just built on a pile of lies. <laughs> and the, uh, the curved one actually was, um, I don't even know what brand, it looked like it was for babies. It was, <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know what the brand it was. It was Fisher Price. Yeah, it, was, it was, didn't look too, too legit. So uh, I decided to pass, even though it like kind of broke my heart because I really want a soprano. But um, the keys were like all messed up; they were bent; they didn't really go down all the way. So and I still have to fix up the, the clarinet in the last video, so uh, so I can honk away on that. That's the best instrument you're ever gonna find, right there. Oh, you know what that one guy had? Pokemon cards. Look at that. Shave kit. Shave kit. Some rockas, train whistles, back massager, accordion, some ducks. This is the scariest room ever. So sadly, my camera died and we weren't able to shoot anything else, but that's okay because we really didn't have find anything that particularly awesome at the flea market this time. A lot of people told us there was a whole bunch of cool instruments there. We kind of struck out, but it happens. Flea markets change all the time, so we'll probably have to go back and check another day, and we'll probably find something cool. Yeah, we just found one online. It's called, like, the English Town uh, Flea Market, so maybe one day we'll just check that one out. Uh, it'll be really fun. I think it'll be fun. It will be fun. If you guys know of any flea markets in the New Jersey area, or even Pennsylvania, or anything close to where we are, we're in Central Jersey, let us know. Send us a gift, shoot us a comment or a message, because we'd love to go check it out, see if we can find any cool musician instrument things. Well, we will see you next time on Picking the Trash.